does. Right, from the air to the water now. A fleet of more than 50 Dutch yachts have been given a warm welcome to Newcastle's quayside after a three-day expedition across the North Sea. The yacht sailed from the port of Eimauden as part of a trade and tourism initiative. It's the first time Newcastle City Marine has welcomed such a large fleet from Holland. Julie Smith reports. Two years in the planning for this Dutch sailing expedition, today making waves on the Tyne. In the blink of the bridge, the second flotilla of Dutch racing yachts join others moored on the marina. Having the blinking eye welcoming us coming into the city of, uh, of Newcastle, that is the biggest uh, thing. We have never actually had a reception like this. We had children on the, on the quay cheering at us. Sailors love coming into a city centre. There's just no better place to stay, for, to stay overnight or for a couple of days. The North East's previously been missed off long distance trips, but not today. The packed Newcastle City Marina showcasing its impact on the international sailing scene. The, the region has come together to make this work. So the, 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 the Dutch made a landfall two days ago at Hartlepool. They looked after them extremely well. They've staged at Royal Keys Marina in North Shields and then really the icing on the cake is to get them to come up to Newcastle's quayside. We have some nice things happening uh, because this evening we will have a big party and tomorrow we'll have an excursion to the Angel of the North, if I'm pronouncing it well, uh, and Hadrian Wall, which is of course very nice for us to have a look around the beautiful Newcastle. So for one day only, sea legs can be left behind. Julie Smith, BBC Look North, Newcastle. Just before we get our teeth into the sport, <laughs> 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 Luis Suarez, four-month ban, could make his 